Hello and welcome to today's video on uh, the wonderfully squishy world of OCR biology. Uh, today we're going to be learning organelles, structures and functions. Basically we need to come to grips with all the organelles as long lost family members that we have to remember the name of and a little bit about their uh, their, their life goals, their uh, careers, their aspirations. We just need to know them quite well so at awkward family parties we'll be able to make conversation. So the first of this family is the nucleus, probably one of the most important people. Well it's not a person, it's an organelle. Sorry to burst your bubble. But the nucleus, what do we know about it? We know that the nucleus is the largest organelle. When stained, it shows darkened patches known as chromatin. It is surrounded, uh, surrounded. It is surrounded by a nuclear envelope. Uh, yes. Uh, and uh, this nuclear envelope is made up of two membranes with fluid in between them. A lot of holes called nuclear pores uh, go right through the envelope. And these holes are large enough for relatively large molecules to pass through. And there is a dense spher spherical structure called the nucleo nucleolus inside the nucleus. That's a mouthful. And here it is there. So, yeah. That's the structure of the nucleus. And here is the function right now. The nucleus houses nearly all the cell's genetic material. Now at GCSE you might have been taught that the nucleus is the brain of the cell but cells don't have brains. So you need to understand that the nucleus houses nearly all the cell's genetic material. That, defi defi that definition instead. Uh, the chromatin consists of DNA and proteins. It has the instructions for making proteins and some of these proteins regulate the cell's, ac cell's ac activities. Uh, biology is a mouthful. So, when the cell divides, chromatin condenses into two visible chromosomes, and we'll learn more about that later on. Uh, the nucleolus makes RNA and ribosomes, and they pass into the cytoplasm, and proteins are assembled at them. And so, let's move on to the logical progression. The endoplasmic, endoplasmic reticulum. Biology really is full of words that are hard to say. So... Luckily, we can abbreviate endoplasmic reticulum as ER, and there are two kinds, rough and smooth. Unlike chemistry, who wants to confuse you all the time, rough ER is rough, and smooth ER is smooth. Good. So, now we know the structure, and we can recognise them if there's a diagram. Uh, we need to know the functions of both. So the rough ER transports proteins that were made on the attached ribosomes. As you can see, these little balls here are ribosomes. And some of these proteins may be secreted from the cell. Some will be placed on the cell surface membrane too. And the smooth ER is involved in making lipids that the cell needs. Good old lipid machine over here. Uh, so yeah, that's the endoplasmic reticulum and let's move on to the next organelle which is the Golgi apparatus or you can say Golgi apparatus whatever floats your boat so here's the structure here it's pretty profoundly recognizable uh, yeah and these are all little vesicles which we'll learn about in just a moment but the Golgi apparatus or the Golgi apparatus receives proteins from the ER and modifies them. Uh, the Golgi apparatus then packages the modified proteins into vesicles. So we need to know, what we need to know is that uh, it receives proteins, it modifies, it then packages into vesicles which are here and the definition of a vesicle is a membrane bound, bound sac found in the cell and they are used to carry many different substances around that cell. They're basically the shopping bags of cells. 
Uh, and these vesicles may go on to be secreted outside the cell. Um, because, you know, the outside, uh, the outside of the cell matters too. The next structure we need to know is the mitochondria. It's pretty recognisable. It, it just kind of looks like a sausage with some bits scraped out. Uh, and what is the function of the mitochondria, might you ask? Well, it's where uh, ATP is produced during respiration. ATP is sometimes called the universal energy carrier because almost all the activities that, e that need energy in the cell are driven by energy released from ATP. Good old ATP. The next structure organelle to look at is the chloroplast. And where might we find the chloroplast? Well, we would only find it in a plant cell. Uh, and some protoctistas. Uh, but we'll learn more about that in unit 2. Um, and the chloroplasts are basically the site of photosynthesis. Uh, light energy is used to drive the re reaction of photosynthesis in which carbohydrate molecules are made from cam dioxide and water. Good. And they're always little green things, although if you've got a black and white diagram I guess they're not. Anyway, moving on to the next uh, structure. It's the lysosome. And lysosomes are basically the uh, little evil ant that you have in your family. They contain very powerful digestive enzymes and their role is to break down materials. Uh, for example, in the white blood cell, lysosomes help to break down invading microorganisms, which is always good. And that's the lysosome for you. Quite small. Here we have some ribosomes. These little dot things. Uh, as we can see, they're on the rough ER here. Ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis. Um, yeah, and that's all you really need to know about ribosomes, protein synthesis, get those two click together. And poor little centrioles are left for last. Uh, they're the last thing in the textbook. That uh, These two, it's good to point out that uh, they are not bound by organelles. No, they're not bound by membranes even. So all of these have got membranes. All of these top ones. But these two, they don't need a membrane. They're having a great time without one. So, the centrioles take part in cell division and they form fibres known as spindle fibres, which move chromosomes during nuclear division. And we'll learn about nuclear division later on in the course. But for now, that is all you need to know about organelles. Thanks for watching.